There we go. What up, though? Roddy Rob, Big Business is here. Marvel's The Defenders on Netflix. Whew. This will be a short, spoiler free review. I do have a spoiler review. It should be posted right around the time as this one's posted. So if you already seen it, but we don't care about spoilers, check that out as well. And also check out my ranking of the five seasons of Netflix shows. That's the two seasons of Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones. So check that video out too. Now let's get into The Defender. So I was highly anticipating this uh, show. I don't really watch too much TV or Netflix. The Defenders is pretty much it. So, yeah, I was looking forward to this. Real quick, uh, things I wasn't too fond of. If you uh, seen my ranking video of, of the Netflix shows, and you know I had Daredevil season, season two a little low, mainly because of the whole Electro story. I just I'm not really a fan of what they got going on with him and hers. Like the whole emotional thing. I'm like, look, the bitch is crazy killer like you know get over it that's just me that's the type of guy I am so and you've seen the trailers and you know she is in here so obviously whenever she's evil so whenever they meet up it always like stops and go through this whole emotional thing again which I could do without but hey that's just me that's probably my biggest gripe with everything that I don't really feel um aside from that uh I mean it has the slow points this one's only eight Episode so eight hours, so uh, you uh, you think it have less slow points, but it kind of feel like it has the same amount because the story is pretty direct. The hand wants something. Uh, the defenders have it, and you know they gotta figure out why they want it and what to do and how to stop them. I mean it's a pretty direct story. You got stick in there. You got uh, Claire in there. Uh, was Earl Dawson's character. You got Sigourney Weaver as the main villain, like I said, Electra, she's evil, and you got the hand, and you got the four main characters. And you do have the side characters, Colleen Wayne, uh, Fozzie, uh, let's say Foggy, Foggy, and, um, I mean, you know, Trinity from Jessica Jones. Like, you know, all the side characters are there too. And sometimes the side characters get in the way for me. It's like, Okay, this is not the town to really progress with you. I want to stick to the main four. Well, maybe a little bit. Colleen Wayne was like my f favorite side character. She like because she does stuff, so I was cool with her and of course Claire and Stick. But besides that, just give me the main four and the bad guys. Cause this introduces a few main bad guys too. I, I thought. Madam Gal was the main, gonna be the main bad guy, but then obviously Sigourney, we Sigourney Weaver steps in, and a couple other ones. So I'm like, okay, let's stick to this. Let's let's not do all this sad story stuff. We don't need that for this one. Like that kind of slowed down a little bit. Jessica Jones, it's a lot of Iron Fist. You know, let's let's not focus on them, man. Let's go straight for the story. I do feel like this could have been a nice tight movie. Two and a half, you know, the minimum for movies now. It would have been cool with me. But that's just me. Uh, uh, but overall, it wasn't, like, real iconic. Like, it has its moments. The hallway scene in the trailer. The restaurant scene you see in the trailer. You know, a couple other scenes. Couple, uh, them really getting to know each other and arguing. You know, it has its moments, definitely. But I felt like you could have took all them big, nice moments, and, you know, in the story moments the, with the bad guys, and it could have been a nice two and a half hour long movie. So, uh, as usual with, with these Netflix shows, I guess my only gripe, big gripe is besides Electra, is that uh, it kind of drags, and it kind of feels like they're adding stuff in just to make it long enough to be an hour, and, you know, this is eight episodes. I can, I can see them doing more, less than eight episodes for Netflix. That probably wouldn't have been a good contract. So I understand from a business aspect, but from as a fan, I'm like, this could have been just one shot, you know, for me. Uh, but I still enjoyed it. But I, it was kind of a letdown. That's only because I had such high expectations. Uh, I, don't know, I don't rank this, but if you see my rankings, 
I don't want to give a number ranking, but if you see my rankings of the Netflix shows as of right now, um, I got to put it behind Luke Cage. Uh, so watch that video and see where I, where I place everything at. I might, I, I think I'll give it another watch, but it might be above Luke Cage, but I don't see it being higher than that. And, um, you know, it's not like Daredevil Season 1 where I, I could watch all 13 hours again, man. There's so many interesting characters in there, especially uh, my boy Wesley, R.I.P. But uh, this one, it was still cool, though, you know. Uh, so let me know what y'all think. If you've seen it yet, if you haven't seen it yet, you want to see it, it's worth a watch. Eight hours, less than eight hours this time. Check it out. It's the weekend. Sit back and watch some, some Marvel goodness. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. As always, big business. I holla. Oops. Hit that.